Hello, and welcome to Grub Gaming. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Starfield. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been around, thanks for watching. We are in a Crimson Fleet outpost, and we are here to save our friend Barrett. Let's get rolling on in. And my character has a cough because he has some lung damage. It's bad times. No certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? It's the greatest thing you've seen. No exaggerations this time. I should hmm. be using drink for bombs right Damn. now. Unicorn. Not kidding. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme of file in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands, you need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound, your brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. I mean, no one wants their brain to pop like a soda can. I have a feeling we might have a conversation option here, so I'm going to... Turn on my powers. Holy shit. You actually found me. Of course. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. <coughs> huh. I'm here at... Uh, I guess you don't know why. Are you friends with the pirate? Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. Huh. Let's see here. I'm here to take you home, Barrett. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. A real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Uh, persuade. Barrett, hasn't Barrett been enough trouble? Just let him go. You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? Does it work here? Okay, not much. Uh, we have three out, three chances, and we need to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, look, Barrett's more trouble he's worth. A lot of pirates are already dead. All the more reason I need to make sure I'm compensated. Ah. Uh, um You seem like a reasonable person. Cut your losses and let Barrett go. I'm afraid that's not an option. Ah. Well, how about if I just auto persuade you? Easy. Maybe this doesn't have to get ugly. Ha. Huh. You clearly get along with Barrett. You're friends. He has been more entertaining than most hostages. There are some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsura. Really. And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. If I got a chance one more time, piece of junk. All right, Barrett. So. Back to the lodge. <laughs> Who was that pirate, anyways? Matsura the Grim. Honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. I'm a constellation now. Did, did you know I ended up joining? 
Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Were you just laughing it up the whole time? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Uh, can I ask you some personal questions? What's on your mind? While we stand here among the pirates? Um, tell me about yourself, Barrett. Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese. My work and long walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? I also enjoy cheese. Um, so about your artifact. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Huh. Where did you find your artifact? On Bendy? No, wait. It was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. What do you think the visions mean? I think it's pretty clear now there's a possible correlation between the visions and the powers. Of course, correlation isn't necessarily causation. Once is a fluke, twice is a coincidence, and so forth. But once I get back into academic mode, I'll be writing a paper that will suggest the connection is valid. Obfuscating the identities of the powered, of course. Which means we all get code names. Fun, right? Ooh, I'm gonna code name. Uh, what did you see when you picked it up? Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw... a vision. Flashing lights, a whole shebang. Huh. I've got some other questions. Sure. Like what? Uh, that's all. <laughs> Always a pleasure. All right. Well, I guess pirate people. I do not encourage you to return. Got nothing to say to you. Let Sir is in charge. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Well, what can I rob while I'm here? Anything else? You're not holding out on me, are you, pirates? I mean, I am still willing to murder everyone in this room if I have to. Alright, well, we're out. It was a lot easier than I expected. Just make sure we grab all these items here real quick. There's some ammo. A mercury camera. I'll admit. Where I came down? No, that's where I came down. What's up here? Aha! Aha! Yes! Definitely worth coming up here. Alright, cool. Alright, team, back to the ship. I almost missed that one. Ooh. Definitely missed that one. Is there anything else? Oh! It's a whole weapons case I forgot to. Auto Riveter. Oh. Rivets. I don't want 
that space helmet. Alright, that should be everything. Since we talked our way out of the pirate fight, we learned that our superpower doesn't affect persuade uh, chances, so what we will do is we will buy that next level of persuade, though. Uh, persuasion, let's get rank 3. Just because I like the persuade action. I guess we leave. All right. All right, all right, all right. Well, this is awesome. Oh. Nothing in there. Well, there was some ammo here I almost missed. Huh, okay. Oh! Did everyone, everyone okay? Everyone good? I hope so. Now we need to return to the lodge. Let's go ahead, oh, before we do, let's fast travel to our ship. Where's our ship? It was pretty close, wasn't it? Where did we park? Should start being more careful back there, fam. Captain, hello. I am satisfied. All right, we need to take a look at our inventory here. We've picked up some stuff here. This auto river does 104 damage. 104. It's not bad. Um, this backpack makes you invisible. Alright. Let's look at our weapons here. 17. Not impressive. This thing at 104 is pretty cool. This is our sniper rifle. It's not that great. It uses 7.7 millimeter. Uh, what do we get here? Ooh. That's a pretty cool looking gun. It's not very good, it just looks cool. Garbage. Modified. That's garbage. This is more garbage. We picked up a lot of garbage guns. What's this fire? 11 millimeter for 20 damage? Nope. 14. See, if it did more damage... Armor piercing rounds, but at 14 damage versus the 40. Yeah, none of this stuff is worth keeping. At all. At all. The Auto Riveter is cool, but again, 104 damage at range 20? What's the range on this Maelstrom? 32. But this is like range 36. Yeah, okay. Nothing here I'm impressed with. And then those backpacks. We did pick up this, but it weighs... Okay, it weighs less. But it doesn't have all those advantages. Okay. No new helmet. We picked up this jumpsuit. Got it. We're just going to dump this in our ship cargo hold. Sell that stuff next time we're in town. Still injured? We are. Let's get in the ship aid. I assume we have something in here that treats lung infections. Right? We have nothing that treats. There we go. One injector. There we go. 
go. Our lung damage is cured. We are good to go. Now we can return to the lodge. And see what Barrett's got to say. I am kind of upset at that uh, power did not help us at all with our persuasion. I had really hoped it would. I used to stay attached to the SSNN building, listening to all the reports. Now, I just watch the news unfold. Live. How nice. And over the radio, apparently. Uh, let's see here. Anything else we need to worry about? Go. up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> And to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now, look at them all. Ah. <laughs> well, you can feel I it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So, hey, I I'm still not 100%, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? Help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. Sure. Traveling together sounds good to me. Marvelous. Of course. Absence makes the heart go all the way. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? All right. So he's with me. That looks good. Right. Later. All right. What have we got now? Empty nest. Talk to Sam Co. Let's set this. I'm just at the lodge. Wait a minute. Get me out of this menu. Is Sam Co just in here? Did I not select it for no, I didn't. There we go. Which one is Oh, that's right! The guy with his little his girl. You ready to head out? Uh let's get to it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. We'll talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. What's new? Alright. Well, I guess I'm I'm not gonna be with Barrett. I'm gonna be with Captain Cowboy here. Which is fine. Um, let's do some quick uh, drop off, sell that uh, that stuff we just got. Uh, real quick while we're here in town, and then we'll head off to Aquila City, which I think is the um, where am I? I'm lost in this town. There's the medical center. I need to go this way. Um, I think Aquila City is the place that was like the high tech place. I understand based on advertisements I've seen, I think it might be the Blade Runner planet. Find out when we get there if I'm right. Right now, though, I'm just trying to get to... The UC... Distribution Center, which I think is right over here. It's been a month. <laughs> uh, that, no, that's where you can buy a house. Is it over here? It's across from Outland, isn't it? There it is. Uh, let's uh, do this, though. 
Yeah, I've got this. That was garbage. Let's turn on our Fusro Da. Actually, forget the Fusro Da. Where's my. Yeah. Everybody got that? Let's turn on the We Can Sprint Forever technique. So much better. Hello. Please, if you experience any issues in your dealings with the dist welcome to UC Distribution. I would like to trade. Yes, of course. Please take a look. Uh, vendor sell from Wonder. Uh, how much money you got? Six K. Still can't believe that's worth a bunch of money. Uh, let's buy. Do you have digi picks? You do. All of them, please. Uh, that's not useful at all. Ammo! I don't remember what any of my guns use, but I know we use this. I know that one gun uses this. What's my gun use here? 43 <coughs> Ultra Mag. And this uses the 15 by 25s. So 43 Ultra Mag. 15 by 25s. Uh, and then still here. Anything else we got? Now that she's got money back. Not selling my plushie collection. Not at all. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. How are we doing on cash, by the way? What do we got? We got, uh, where's my money? Inventory? 105k. Okay, so we're good on, we're good on cash for a while, I think. Get up, Barrett. Alright. Travel to Aquila City. Let's go. Something you need. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. All right. I will. I don't want a science outpost. I'm looking for Aquila City. Right? There we go. Limited government, eh? Sounds like some solved citizen junk to me. How many people are on this ship? It's just me repeating your name 
turned into a data slate for five hours. <laughs> I got I mean the adoring fan is great. Alright, where is our cowboy friend? Hey cowboy. We'll try to keep out of your hair while we're on route. Hope you like it. He gave me some beryllium. Alright. How do I get him? Do I just have to get off the ship? Yes. Just stay off my ship. Where's Sam? Sam, where are you at? There he is. Good day, Captain. Good day to me as well. Ooh. What's that? Is that just a Mustang? Oh, it's just a Mustang. Okay. Alright, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. Let's do it! Let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Co. As in Solomon Co. First man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Well, let's go. Um. So we find this empty nest, and then the artifact. Well, how about, why not just use a planet scan to find it? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city, and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Huh. So, did your family build Tequila City? Yeah. And the Coast have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Ah. Well, we find the empty nest and then the artifact. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Wait. We're doing a bank heist? Well, I mean... I'm all down for a bank heist as I refill my crystal light over here real quick. Where are you going, Sam? Alright. Welcome to Aquila City. Bear's just going off to party. Uh, looks like we have the authority. Get an invoice. Oh, what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. Ah. Well, here we go. Welcome to Aquila City. Wait, what did that say? Established 2167 by Solomon Cole. Hey, a robot. A broken robot. Sorry, your robot's Kilo broken. City. Feels like I spent half my oh, life trying to get out of this By place. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Oh no! This might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You Sam Co. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Huh. So this is not the town I thought it was. I thought we were headed to the, uh, the place that's like the cyberpunk place, but apparently not. My bad. Um, uh, if people are in danger, I want to help. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Oh, I can Maybe stalemate them with a gun. Good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. All right. Planning to 
tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> I mean, it is the western town, it's the Firefly town, but... I have eh. complete confidence in the Marshal. You need to stand back now. Um, sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Uh. The Shaw Gang? It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. Huh. They must have made some demands by now. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> They want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Maybe I can talk some sense into them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, I'm sure I got this. You in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see them, and don't try nothing. Security around here is a joke. Well, let's save in case we die. Cause that could happen. All right, here we go. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Huh. First, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. What's your, wait, if I just, let's try this again. You know, let's give it a shot. All right, they'll cooperate when they get what they want, or, okay, what's your name? Uh, it's Jed, Jed Bullet. Okay. Good to meet you, Jed. I'm Grugtar. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're going to deal straight with us? Because uh, you're not the only ones that had trouble with the law or persuade him. Let's do the persuasion. I give you my word, Jed. I just want to help. Or we could do the wanted. Uh, I need the persuade points. I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Alright. Oh, it's a tough one. 
If nothing else, I'm your ticket out of the bank. We've been in worse scrapes than this. Uh. We can handle being stuck in a bank. Okay. Two more tries. There's no way to get this done. Don't waste my time. You and I both know you have no choice but to trust me. Whoa! Take it easy there. Alright. I'm sure you're ready for a change of scenery by now. Nothing we can't handle. Yeah. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. Ah. Darn it. What's the condition of the hostages? They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Well, that's good. Tell me your demands. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it. Huh. How do I know you'll keep your word? What? Do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! That's a pretty tall order. Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Huh. It's not too late to end this peacefully. What do you mean? Okay, we try again. The marshal's going to keep those hostages safe, whatever it takes. Let them go before he has to take drastic action against you. Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. Why is persuasion That's in this game impossible? Those hostages are innocent bystanders. There's no need to involve them in this. Like, I'm not going to be able to fill this persuasion thing out. I think it's impossible. Right? Part of me just wants to be rid of these people. But we need them right where they are. So when I choose one of these, give them now, and you'll do some time. Sure. But nowhere near as much as you would if a hostage dies. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Oh, so I get to keep going? Nobody's been hurt yet, sir. Now the judge might go easy on you. Maybe you're right. Uh, I get how this works. Nobody gets hurt. We won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. Uh, even if one hostage dies, your robbery charge becomes a murder charge. You don't want that to happen. Um, I don't know. Which do we go? Yellow? Let's just keep with the green. None of us want to be murderers. Things just got out of control. They did. Even if one hostage dies, your robbery charge because a murder charge. It's up to the marshal to make sure the hostage. Oh. Get nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. I really don't like the persuasion in this video game. The shock gang's making fools of us all. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. There must be something more we can do. Or should I go back and try to talk to him again? Nah, you'd be wasting your time. 
Or worse, it'd make them angry. No sense risking that. There must be something more we can do. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. I can go in. I'm not part of your security force, so I might be able to catch them off guard. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I'd I rather... I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Ah. This is nothing we can't handle. Do we sneak in? You know what? I'm just gonna go in the front door. Let's get this gun ready. Let's uh, heal ourselves. Because apparently we're not allowed to actually persuade people in this game. What the marshal say? We have a deal? Show goodwill would help. Like letting me see the hostages. I guess that'd be alright. I'm gonna need to ditch that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Okay. Just hear me out for a minute. Fine, but make it quick. We're gonna try this again. You've got me outnumbered. What's the worst that's gonna happen? That's true. If you tried something, we'd take you out real quick. Look at it from our point of view. We're taking it on faith as hostages are really safe, but we need proof. To make a fair point. And don't forget. What are you so worried about? You've got numbers on your side. Yeah. You'd have to be crazy to think you could take us all on at once. All right? Fine. But if you so much as look at me funny, I'm sending you straight to the morgue. There. The door's unlocked. All right. Gun up. Superpowers turned on. I want my gravity field. I'm coming in. Probably should have saved. Follow me. Alright. You show me what you got going on in here. We got one bank robber here. Couple down below. They're in the vault, down there. Hey, the negotiator's coming down to check the hostages. Uh, we're we're gonna save scum this if we have to. Where's the good stuff, old man? I know you got something valuable stashed away in here. Don't you lie to me now. You don't understand. The vault is for storing priceless heirlooms and relics from Aquila City's proud history. Shut up! You're wasting my time and I'm sick of it! Alright, that's everyone in the vault, right? Okay. Well, they're in the wind now. Hostages appear to be all safe. Now we just deal with this. Hey, buddies. Get back here. Yeah, I'm gonna get back there. I got a gun. There you Says are. hello. Gonna... 
There we go. While we're here, though, before we uh, go talk to him, we need to we need to get the artifact, don't we? Thank you so much. Is there... Is the artifact down here somewhere? Can we just grab it now? Acquires key. Okay. Anything up here we should be grabbing while we're at the bank? Coffee. Why is there no money just sitting out? Come on. Aha. Aha. I really just want to open things for the, uh... For the experience points. You know. You know how it is. Actually, here to steal. Just want to unlock things. Uh, I'm not taking some random drugs. If there's money, I'll grab it, but otherwise, it's not worth it. Yeah, no other reason to be up here. Well, We've solved that hostage situation in the best way possible, with me alive. I'm pretty sure we saved all the hostages. Nice work. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? It's over? The host ah, the hostages are fine, the Shaw Gang... Not so much. Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. Oh! If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Okay. All right. Well, now the time's are well done Let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. All right. Let's see about... Okay. Everyone's fine. Let's, uh, let's get the actual right mission selected. No. You're the worst menu ever. Alright, let's get in here and get these maps. There appear to still be some bodies. You should... Someone should take care of this. Let's 
Someone should clean this up. I'm just saying. All right. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be right here. Newton's Cradle, an exotic wood decoration. Nope. How about in here? Note for Sam. Right, let's see. Ooh. I found a note for Sam. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Um... I should have read the note. Who's Jacob and why did he take the map? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Well, sounds like we need to talk to him. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Mm. Sam, level with me. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this? Uh, yeah. We're going to the estate anyway, and I'm going to find out. You're not wrong. And uh, we can't work together if you don't trust me. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Alright, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Thanks for opening up to me, Sam. Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, cold tradition. Oh. All right. Shall we? We shall. Now, let's read what that note actually says that we didn't read. Note for Sam. Sam. I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me, Jacob. Well, that's fun. So we're fine again. Garbage. Lots of garbage. I'm not impressed by any of these guns at all. Um, so what we'll do is we will head off to the estate but we'll head there in the next episode of gaming with for Gru gaming for grug gaming with grug um what i'll do is i'm gonna just unload the stuff we picked up in the uh in the ship and when we come back we'll head towards what i'm going to assume is the center building in town yep probably or back there somewhere that's where we'll be going. Ooh, what's this? Oh, the Achilles City information. Uh, so until next time, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.